And welcome back to everyone here on 2K Sports of our PGA Tour coverage. We're headed out to the seventh hole. It's time to go low. Get in the hole. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. It's just about three feet away. Okay, let's head to the next. Finds himself in a share of seventh. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. This hole is a par three. Going with the hybrid. This looks to be heading to the green. John, what's going on out there? I'm on the tenth hole now, guys. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot. And from 26 feet. And back to the course with the live action. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Oh, that's incredible. He sold it. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. Now three strokes back after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Good looking shot this. Luke, unfortunately that got a horrible kick, ended up in the rough. Good option, take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys, this is Cameron Champ on the 10th hole. Well, this is one of those lies that dictates a shot. It doesn't seem like it's a tough one. We're lining up the birdie putt here. Looking good. A wonderful putt. We can claim it. Back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to seven under. Well, Rich, as we make the turn to the back nine, what are your thoughts so far? Two strokes off the lead with nine to go, Luke. They're going to need to put something special together. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. Choosing the nine iron here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. This punt is about 17 feet long. This one's online, and that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. He's currently sitting in third. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. A wonderful shot, a chance for birdie here on the 11th. But well holds, he'll take the birdie. He's currently in a share of top spot. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Oh, that was pure. Sitting at minus nine for the day. Currently tied for top spot. Oh my goodness. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And that makes him tied for first. You've arrived at a par four. Well, let's see if they can roll off that boot at the last. Lovely momentum here. 
This one should find the rough. Mm, John, what's this one looking like? I don't know how much of this one they can get. Uh, it ended up quite, uh, quite deep down into this rough. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a short time ago. Lining up for his third now. Let's get back to it, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. <laughs> 11 feet to the cup. Go on, get in the hole. And in it goes for the par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Lining up from around 160 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. We need this one to bounce right. Left yourself an opportunity. Putting for birdie. It's tracking. And down she goes. Leading by a shot after that hole. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? That's heading for the fairway. Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one is chewing fiber. Man, approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Air mailed the green with that approach. Ooh, that almost went down. Opportunity to make their par. Well hold. With just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, we're down on hole number 16, and this is Kim Champ's next shot. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Good look at birdie here. Looking better. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. And here we are with the third shot. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot at the 17th. Oh, well played. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, what a lovely putt to make. Gotta like it. Two in a row. And let's have another look at that one. Sitting at minus 13 for the round. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Woo-wee. They show movies on flight shorter than that. The interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, the old fried egg. What an awful lie that is. Any chance of getting out of this one? Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, it should be interesting to see how they escape this one. Oh, wow. Holds it for victory. How good is that? Got to say, two wins on the season, really firing in all cylinders right now. This player is in for a massive year. And let's have one more look at that shot. Oh, 
Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helby. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone, delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. We're at the Champions Invitational. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, it's great to have your company and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Caramel Creek opening hole is a tough one, 452 yards, a very picturesque opening hole. Fairway dog legs from left to right. The fairway bunker down the right-hand side shouldn't see much action. Generous fairway just over that. Second shot plays back up the hill. There's a deep bunker waiting for any wayward shots over the right-hand side. Opening par four here is a job well done. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Second shot on the second. second. Game with the seven. That's not what they were looking for. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. How close was that to going down? Ooh, nice line. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm down here on the seventh, and this is a look at Gary Woodland's next shot. And for the par. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the third hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. This is from miles away. Just three feet to the cup. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. That one's heading down Broadway. And now we head to the fifth, where this great highlight took place. Jim Furyk doing what he does best. This is his third. And back to the course with the live action. This one is headed to the right. Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. 
and that will take him to one under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We've arrived at a par four hole. Second shot here on the fifth. Yep, that shot safely on the green. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. Go in. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Going with the pitching wedge here. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, now we find ourselves on the tee of a short par four. What's your strategy? Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Around 110 yards to go. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Wow, what a shot. Absolutely, in there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And with that, he'll move to three under par. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Playing from around 240 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Wonderfully played. Your chance to sneak inside top 20 in the standings here with this putt. Looking really good. And it's just about three feet away. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Currently at minus four for the round. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. This shot here from about 240 yards. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Interesting choice of the driver here. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Oh, I thought that one was going in. He has this putt to save his par. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. Well hold. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Third shot now. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the six iron. Good shot there. And this putt will take them to five under. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Not a bad line, this one. It's time for a highlight. Let's head to the 12th for this wonderful play. Here's Jim Furyk in the go zone. And this is a great opportunity, a great look from long range. In a world now full of power players, isn't it wonderful to still have the likes of Jim Furyk out there competing? In fact, he's the only player on tour to have two sub-60 rounds. I'm in awe of him because of that fact alone, not just because the fact that he's won $72 million plus in his PGA Tour career, 
but he has not let the lack of length in his game bother him whatsoever. He goes out there and is unafraid to take on any competitor, any time, any tournament, anywhere in the world. My hat's off to Jim Furyk for being as awesome as he has been for as long he has been. Now four back after that hole. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. This player needs to make it happen and now. They don't need a birdie, they need an eagle. Time for the second shot at the 12th. Going with the five wood. All you can do is hope now, because that was never going down the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. Let's head over to the 17th. This is their fifth shot. All right, John, how's this putt looking? This is at least a 40-footer. This is way out there, guys. Looking great now. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. He finds himself at a share of 14th position. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. And choosing the 8-iron here. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. Good opportunity coming up. Make this putt, and we'll move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Oh, here he comes into the top 10 with a bolt. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Pretty good shot there. Playing from around 210 yards here. Currently four shots off the pace. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Chance to move to eight under here. This one's tracking. But what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to eight under. Here's Matt Kuchu's shot. Lining up from the sand now. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Oh, that's a sweet-looking swing, that one. From about 100 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Getting ready to play their third. Four strokes off the lead. That almost went down. And the putt drops now at eight under, heading down the stretch. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. The 16th hole now, and this is Jim Furyk getting ready to hit. And here we are with the third shot. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. From about 130 yards here, four shots behind our leader. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Important putt here. They make it. They're into the top five. Oh, what a stroke. And that will drop in for birdie. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top five. This hole is a par five. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Only two shots off the pace. Come on, sit. Now this is a spot they need to get up and down from. Just two strokes off the lead. Nothing like a little pressure to make it interesting, is it? How close was that to going down? And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Maybe they should make it tied going into the final hole. 
And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Just two shots back after that hole. And as our player gets ready to face their final hole, they're confirmed to be two shots off the lead. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Playing from around 160 yards. Two strokes off the lead. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Oops and uh-oh are never good words in this game. This will be a clutch up and down for him. Oh, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? I think this is right around 32 feet or so to the cut. And that'll be all she wrote. And as this event concludes, he'll share fifth spot. Top fives are very nice. There's no doubt about it. Lots of good stuff in there. Still needs to clean up on some of the mistakes that were made out there. But all in all, a nice, solid week all around. And this will definitely give them confidence heading into the next event. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.